All right, so I'm back with the DJI Pocket 3, and this time I have a new product with me to try out, the ND filters by DJI. I've been using this thing in auto mode the whole time because, number one, I've been going in and out of different uh, situations, so the exposure, I wanted it to be, you know, auto for that. And number two, I didn't have any ND filters to keep uh, my shutter at the right uh, speed for the frame rates that I was shooting at. I was shooting at 30, but today I'm gonna do the cinematic thing and shoot at uh, 24 frames per second. This is an unboxing in my truck. Something different, right? Have you ever done an unboxing in your truck? I don't know. Whoa, that came flying off. I don't really need anything. That's the box. Ugh. All right, here we go. Oh man, I gotta cut my nails. I just cut myself. So it comes in this little case. And let's open it up. Look at these small little things. <laughs> it's tiny. It's cool though. Uh, I'm glad it comes with this case. And I'm glad it's small enough that I can put it in my man purse. Yes, I have a man purse. You know why? Because I have twin boys and I need all the help I can get with my hands. They need to be free. I can't have a bunch of crap in my pockets because they'll just jump on me and smash things. So that's why. So yeah, we're gonna go outside and check this out. All right, so before we take off, I'm going to show you what it looks like right now outside without an ND filter. So, super bright, super overexposed. This is the 16. And it looks like I can go down one more. This is the 64. And I need to turn on face tracking. All right, so back here, I have the ND64 on and 150 shutter, 24 frames per second. And everything's rocking. So looks like I am completely dark and everything else is good and this is why I like the auto exposure and I feel like this camera handles it so good so I'm gonna put the special auto ISO on and I'll be right back all right so now I have the ND64 still on but I changed the ISO to an auto ISO of 50 to 800 and hopefully that'll keep up with it without it overexposing or anything like that as well. And still 4K 24 frames per second. And that's what I'm gonna stay with the whole time. So how's the footage? Is it smooth? We'll see. It should be smooth. That's the one thing I noticed with this thing. It was, I think it's smoother than the original pocket. So yeah, we're in and out. I'm gonna go back to me because now we're in the sun and I would have sunglasses on for this, but uh, then I won't be able to see what the hell I'm filming. And this is me holding the camera pretty close. I'm gonna get my phone out so you can see how I'm actually holding the camera. All right, I'm actually, this is how I'm holding the camera. <laughs> I'm like, which one do I look at? This is how I'm holding the camera. Look, my arm's bent. So if, you know, it might be too close for some of y'all, but so if I go straight out, then I have this field of view. Ooh, you wanna see some duckies? I don't know if you can see them or not. Let's see. Can I punch in later? 
I wouldn't bother using the digital zoom on this. Well, I might as well try it. So let me see. Boom. You hit that. Okay, cool. Now it's in digital zoom mode. And I did not even know how to do that. So I wish there was a way to change the joysticks maneuvering because right now you have to press a button on the side for it to zoom and then press it again if you want it to tilt up and down and that's on the screen. I wish you could just click the button once and then it would change it and then when you click it twice then it does its centering. But as of right now you have to touch the screen and then you, then you can have your zoom in zoom out if you need it. This is the easiest camera you're ever going to pick up. So check this out. I'm going to show you something. That, this is how dope this camera is, okay? I'm going to put this down, okay? And I'm going to go sit down on this bench. And it's tracking me. So I don't have to have anybody with me to film myself when I'm doing things in the studio, walking around, getting stuff, if I want B-roll of me setting things up, you know, before I have to get my wife to help me out, and she wants to do that too, but when she can't, to have this and track me, that's crazy. <sighs> now, it lost me when I was that far away, and probably because the sun shining in its eyes. So that test sucked. I'm gonna try to make it up this grassy hill and not die. Hold on. Ooh. Yo, and this is the pint. I'm making it through all this stuff. Right back to the truck. Boom, boom, and boom. All right, so I know I said it a million times. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the like, hit the bell. This is mainly for pro audio and guitar stuff, but I'm a camera nerd. And if the camera is that good that I get it, then I will do something on YouTube for it. So that's the deal. All right, see you in the next one, bye.